Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to go over uh, WeCreate's latest version 2.0.4. It came out uh, recently, and it's up to date as of August 21st in 2024. Um, I haven't done an updated video on this for a little while, but I wanted to show you guys something cool that I've noticed is when you upload, I've been asking for this forever, um, they now fixed it where the scaling comes in correctly on import. Um, at least from Illustrator files that are SVG files. Uh, it used to have issues scaling in on import. It looks like that's officially fixed now, so that's a great sign. Um, and what I mean by that is if you look at the scale right here in width and height, 14.902 um, by 8.488. Um, and then I flip over to the original file it's pretty much identical except for the extra decimal point that it has. So it just rounded up in the software or rounded down, depending on what it is. But this is the correct scale and it will work on import. It does the same thing with um, Inkscape as well because of the extra decimal point missing. Um, but overall, I wanted to point that out to you guys. If you take nothing else away from this video, that is a cool um, extra benefit. Um, I also seen with text here, like if you select this text here, they did re-add the align here for multi a text. So if you add multiple lines to this, um, you can now click on this and center that text. Where before you couldn't do that, and I was looking for that a while ago. So that was something that was super annoying before, but now you have that ability to do that. So that's a nice added touch. Um, overall, most of the other stuff is still the same. Uh, one other thing that I did want to kind of point out that was kind of cool is let's say I wanted to take this character here and then you can make like a grid array here of characters so you can print multiple um, of them at once in uh, as tight of a formation as possible. So that's something that I didn't show off before. I did show you guys how to do that material test array, but just in case you forgot that, um, how important that is, I'm gonna show you guys that really quick. All you're gonna do is click a rectangle. You're gonna create that rectangle like this, and then you'll click on array and material test array, and then you can change any settings that you wanna see custom in here and click confirm. And then you now have your own material test array here for any type of material you wanna test out. Um, and that's going to be essentially the uh, just like the preset settings that you have on your unit. Um, so let's say I wanted to do this fill engrave of this text here. If you scroll down, right here is what that material test array looks like. And these are the preset settings that you can select from here. So let's say I like the engraving of this one right here. We're going to select that and it automatically changed my settings up here uh, to what I want it to be engraved as. So just remember to get down to those preset settings, you do have to scroll down. They still haven't fixed this in the update. I would like to see this layers box maybe be like right here in this gray zone or um, even through here uh, as a drop down option, uh, just so you can get this material um, preview to show up faster without scrolling down so it's not hidden but um that's something they can do with a future update the other thing that i kind of wish that they would do as well is on import it would group by color automatically and merge by color automatically because that's how most people design and what i mean by that is let me get this text out of the way here as you can see I did everything that I could to make this merge correctly so it's still editable in the file itself. So right now it is a compound path, but I have it grouped in the file, so I want it to be grouped on import. And Glowforge does a good job at doing this automatically, but WeCreate still has all of these options uh, separate. So on import, um, the blacks are separate because I have two compound paths. But if I didn't make these a compound path, each individual node inside this would be ungrouped. And to do that, obviously, all you got to do is highlight it, 
get rid of the outside line and then you can merge them together so it's one total piece here like this which is not really a big deal but I wish it would do that on import and then we would have the option to right click and then ungroup it kind of like what Glowforge does I really like the way they process stuff on import um, but other than that that's something that they can maybe do on a future update if you guys have any questions about the software, uh, let me know down in the comments below. If you're not part of the We Create Users group yet that I run, um, go ahead and join that. Um, I'll try and remember to put a link down below for that as well. And then if you guys like any of these actual laser files here, um, I'll put a link to some of those as well. Other than that, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment and uh, we'll talk to you guys in the next one.